One of the interesting things about managing analytics functions, data science functions, that's a bit different than some other types of management uh, functions, is that the manager, as they continue to rise and have more and more responsibility, will very often still stay very engaged in the core research and the line work of the team. It would be unusual, uh, for example, at a large bank for a very senior manager to still be evaluating loan applications. But in effect, what a data science team leader or any sort of analytics function team leader will often do, very often do, is continue to do research and continue to do the very work that they started doing when they first started their work in data science. And that requires a bit of a different environment um, for a team, I think, uh, in a data science type function. One of the things that I think is important in that respect is that the team environment be one in which um, colleagues feel very free to exchange ideas. They feel that they'll get credit for the work they do, and in fact, in many cases, they will err on the side of giving too much credit to their colleagues. And the reason they do that is because they value their colleagues' work and they value their insights, and they know that with their colleagues' help, the work will get better, and they don't have to worry about that work being recognized. And that's a very key thing that I think a manager has to instill culturally within the group. Another thing that's uh, obviously important is sort of a 101 type management issue, but the, the types of resources the team has are important. The manager should really see uh, his or her function as being making sure the team has whatever it needs to be successful. And we think of more pedestrian things typically in this context. Is there enough office space? Are there enough people in the team? Do they have access to the databases they need and so on? And I think that's very important, obviously. But I think it's also important that the manager work to make sure the team has access within the organization to the people in the organization that are critical for the, the problems they're working on. This could be people that understand the problems well or that will be ending up making decisions about how to deploy the, the research or something to that effect. It could also be people outside, say academics that have done key research. Uh, it could be very important to have an academic uh, channel through which you can test out ideas and also import other ideas. Finally, I think that the, uh, the good research manager will work very hard to stay out of the way. And that sounds contradictory given the point I made earlier about getting your hands dirty, but I think those are two sides of the same coin. I think the manager will continue to do the work, but they'll do it in a very strategic way that's helpful to their colleagues in the same way that any other member of the team will, sometimes leading research, sometimes helping out. But it'll be very important that the colleagues who are in charge of a specific research problem be given the freedom to solve that problem in the way they think is the appropriate way. There are very often many ways to solve problems, and mature data analytics folks will understand the trade-offs that should be made in those situations given the constraints. And as long as those constraints are met and uh, the trade-offs are made in a way that's organizationally acceptable, they should kind of be allowed to pursue the research in the way they think it should go with the, the, the leader of the team providing a bit of oversight or maybe steering it from time to time, but largely staying out of the way. And so for those reasons, you know, it can be a bit different for a manager who often think of their job as being sort of top-down control to think about a data analytics group. But it's very often the case that the very best data analytics managers come from the data, data analytics field. And that's good news. It means that they don't have to give up those things that they really enjoy doing, uh, what brought them to the field in the first place, in order to become a manager and, and, and have greater influence within the organization.